If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's so already says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash and sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 tier and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy merch. Buy merch indeed. A child shall lead them. To buy our merch. Yes, dear listener. Yes, dear listener. Yes, dear listener. We are Vin and Sorry if you we haven't are. heard of us before. We are the premier reaction yeah. channel on YouTube. We're not the premier reaction channel on YouTube. <laughs> Go check out, uh, uh, who is it? Alex Hefner. Alex. Lost in Vegas. There, there's a lot of reaction channels on YouTube. We're one of them, and we are honored that you would take the time to listen to us, listen to music. Okay, here we go. Okay, up next is... How, you, uh, read this, please. Uh, I, I don't have a problem, Skylar, if you want to kiss oh, our beautiful either. faces. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with affection. You know what I'm saying? If you said you were going to kiss Story's beautiful face and not mine, then I'd be like, yo, what, what are you doing? But if it's both <laughs> of us, I'm good. You know, you, you Europeans, you know, they, blah, 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 blah. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> I'm going to kiss Ian first time I see him. Okay. Razor Shriek. Moon's Moon Silver. Silver. These are, uh, this is a okay, Russian, this is Russian this is, black this is metal. This a Russian, Russian black metal band. I enjoyed listening to the album, which was released on February 2nd for a few weeks. Twice a day driving to and from work. Every single song is solid, and I really enjoy listening to it. The lyrics for Moon Silver that is sung in Russian is right here. Babe, do you have it, or do you want me to send it to you? Yeah, I got him. I got him. All right. Sipping white Russian, bitch in the bends bumping. I laced it with the basic. Six TVs, a system, not Face it, we hard to hit. Guard your shit, fly stick you. For you ah. re up, wipe the pee up. Lick shots, okay. won't seat up. Go in the ashtray, spark the weed up. Long kiss. That was one of the greatest songs of all time. Long kiss, good night by B.I.G. Time, it's time for you to die. <laughs> Is I kiss your ass good night. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that shit. That shit was. I thought you were gonna say kiss your hand. Huh? I thought you were gonna say kiss your hand. No, it's I you kiss your ass and then goodbye. Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see what this is about. <laughs> Vape guy goes, don't kiss me. Don't kiss me. What? What? Don't, I was just reading him. Don't kiss me. Uh, 275. 275. You don't know that song, Long Kiss Goodnight by B.I.G.? That shit was crazy. I'm flaming gats, aiming at these fucking maniacs. Yes. Put my name in rest. What type of game is that? Like you hustle backwards. I smoke backwards and dutchies. You can't touch me. Try to rush me. Slugs go touchy, touchy. You bleeding lovely with your spirit above me or beneath me. Your whole life you live sneaky. Now you rest eternally sleepy. You burn when you creep me. Rest where the worms of the weak be. My nine flies, baptized, rap guys with the Holy Ghost. I put holes in most. You hold your toes shaky. Slipping, trying to break me. Look what you made me. Do brains blue, my team in the marine blue, six coop, skeet it out, weed it out, clean it out. The block for distance is giving long kisses, bitch. This man said, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> He said, Mike, nine flies baptized rap guys with the Holy Ghost. You don't get it? 
He's killing people and he's baptizing him with the Holy Ghost. No, he's shooting you. By killing you. So your your ghost has holes in it. Because he's shooting you. So you got your Holy ghost. Holy ghost. <laughs> Biggie was the greatest, man. I don't care what you say. Okay. We're back. We're talking about the Russians now. It's Russian black metal, dear listener. Let me try to pronounce this, this band again. Razor, Razor Shriek Black Magic is the name of the album. Moon Silver is the name of the song. Uh, Moon's Silver, and it's sung in Russian, guys. But we do have the the um, English lyrics. The translation. Yes. Can, you, can you can you get that to me? We do have the translation. Uh, so we'll check it out. I feel like okay, maybe what? I'm remembering this differently. I feel like I just said said, "Do you want the lyrics?" And you said you were all set. Here they are. That's not the song. That's the. <laughs> It's not the song. I like the sound a, of that. It, it took a little bit longer to download because we're downloading the entire right. record. <laughs> the full album. Yes. Yes, the full album. Middle al- just wanted us to have it the starts, full album since he's been listening to the full album. 1240. Okay, 1248. it starts at 1248. And we're on a 2020. <laughs> hmm? uh, I mean, I'm sure you'll know when it. Uh, 275 is like, I am praying for you. I, I, I'm rooting for Ukraine because they have more black metal bands that I, that Russia does. This might swing it for me. <laughs> you know, that in the new world, that's how we're going to settle our beefs, man. It's going to be who can do the best rap, who's got the best metal, and then whoever produces the best metal band, they get the country. Everybody gets to live. Like, that's going to be the new thing. It's just going to be a battle of bands. Instead yeah, of a battle of excellence. Other. Yeah, okay. Instead yeah. of death. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm with it. I'm Alex with it. Rock loves Nirvana, and uh, we love you, bro. So we're good. All, All right, right 1248, let's this, here we go. Black magic. We're Christians. Here black we go. Black magic. Here we go. Okay, now listen. This is not the song. The song starts at 1248, but I do want to hear this part because it sounds legit. Now we're going into the song. Here we go. Travel on picking, let's do this shit, boy.
from Europe, May in Germany, so in America. Highest standards there are. In America, the standards haven't been updated since 1980. It's super weird, like older than me. In Europe, they update safety standards basically every year. This formula is top notch, great for the stomach, great for constipation. Yeah. This is a great product. If you happen to want to purchase it and join us on our journey, then grab the link in the description. If you do and leave a review for us, send me a screenshot at vinandstory at gmail.com of your review after you have received the product. We will put your name in a hat. Song reviews are going to come out by some of the people that have left reviews. Don't forget to send us a screenshot of your review once you get the product. Now a word from our mascot dressed as a pirate, Fuji. Ah, it's a deal of a deal. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Do you like it more than Bach? I do. But okay, I am gonna I will give Bach another try. You know, I need to I need a little bit more like emotional maturity before I can jump back in there. <laughs> I, mean, I might always hate it. I might always hate it. I just it makes me very, very depressed and I'm not sure like if I will always feel that way or if I'll get to a point where I'll be like, okay. Or maybe it maybe it's just that I feel it just way too much. And so maybe it's not. I, let me deaden my soul and return to you for Bach. We shall return. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so I loved this. I, I especially like the whispering part that he did. Yes, that middle interlude yeah. part was was bomb, dude. That's honestly. something that we could consider throwing Steel. into our stuff too. Yeah, some whispering. We could thief that shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, it it. One of the things I'm starting to notice about about writing is like, Ooh, especially if you're doing the whispering. Yeah. And I do. Yeah, I think we get. Yeah. What kind it's of, like the appositions, like the 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 the. It starts off tremolo. There was some chug in there. Then it gave us a little interlude in the middle, quiet down, and then they ended it with a big production, and then it was a blast beat at the end. Like saying it like that, it sounds very simple. Like, oh, okay, that's that's a good formula, but it's very hard to pull off in a balanced way. It's one of the things that I don't know if I struggle with it or not as as a composer because our music isn't out there yet. So I, I I can't wait to put it out there and just hear what people say. Like, and I'm not trying, I don't want people to, oh, it's great, Vin, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I want to hear like, how close did you come to be, being able to, to put those things together in a coherent yep. way that's not, oh, I've heard that. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. And that works. It's, yeah. just, it's very, very hard to do. It's very hard to do the way, um, um, it's very hard to do. And, and, and you can't, you're, you're kind of like in your own mind, it sounds good to you. The other thing too is like, you have a, you, you, I have like an internalized perception of how the song sounds, but that's because I know what I was going for. Mm -hmm. But that's not the same thing as a person hearing it. You see what I'm saying? And like, there's always going to be yep. a gap. There's going to, yeah, there has to be. Between what you intended or, or, or how you hear the song and how it's supposed to go versus what you actually, what the, the person listening to it here is like. Uh, like yeah, some... because you, you perceive music almost right. through your own perceptions. Right. Like, I, I was just talking to somebody about this the other night where they, I always, when I hear a song, I always make it, a, you know, a song about. A relationship song. Oh, it's a relationship song. Oh, it's a... Later, know. Archero. Archero, we're going to do the March Madness commercial during the, uh, uh, the Black, last, Black Sabbath yeah. because obviously they're like a major the main stage song. band. It's going to get a bunch of views. So we wanted to get it with the, with the greatest possible views. So I know you're leaving, but I wanted you to know that. Go ahead. Hi. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> what I was saying. Oh. I, got, I got thinking about March Madness. Oh. The night is whispering the mysteries by the unseen lips. Man, these guys, man. Holy smoke. That, that's a and very... And this is in another language. This is translated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A flight through emptiness in the eternal kingdom... SubhanAllah. A flight through emptiness in the eternal kingdom of autumn, full of grief and sorrow, set ablaze in the starshine. That's so interesting. The, the kingdom of autumn. And it makes you wonder... The eternal okay, kingdom of autumn. Yeah. I don't remember, like, why... So, like, autumn in Maine is actually really, really beautiful. Extremely beautiful. So, I'm like, there's got to be something, like, maybe in Russia, autumn is not beautiful. I, I don't know. You know what I, I mean? I because imagine there's a flight were... through emptiness in the eternal kingdom of autumn. I think it's it's not meant to communicate the brightly colored leaves and the smell of sweet. <laughs> right. It happens in Maine in And the then there, there's also the translation issue. Like, did he say autumn? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> is, right, is it really right. is it really but autumn autumn in maine is apps it, it it's it's the it's the p it's the pinnacle of maine it to be honest with you and it's only a couple weeks unfortunately but autumn in maine is incredible it's beautiful it's it's a it's a it's a dream world but i would imagine that autumn in um uh yeah, russia get, get that one not so much right because it's just so cold, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, maybe, 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 you know, I'm assuming you have a very short spring and a very short summer, if that, and then you go right into the, into the suffering. So, you know, <clears throat> I, I don't, so, so that's pretty interesting, but here, here is what autumn in Maine looks like, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just like regular. Yeah. That's, it's, it's incredible. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, but you see, there's still it's... greenery. The water's not frozen, that type of thing. I'm probably, I'm not sure, but I would assume it'd be much different in uh, Mother Russia. Mm -hmm. um, I also heard, though, that Russia is an incredibly beautiful country. Really? And a lot of, I didn't know this, but... Well, I don't know. Look, I, Ottoman, I, wait. No, that's Autumn. I just said Ottoman Russia, and then... Um, I was curious to see if there was anything. So, so... Yeah, like so. If if I'm if I'm looking at this song, mm -hmm. 
This guy is connected to nature a lot, obviously. The night is whispering the mysteries by the unseen lips, a flight through emptiness in the eternal kingdom of Oh, autumn. these lyrics were just put out from the band themselves. Okay. Full of grief and sorrow, set ablaze in the starshine, so flare up and turn into ashes, to hear the singing of the comets in silence. To hear the singing of the comets in silence. That's a good line. Because the comets yeah. aren't saying anything. You know, they're, they're completely silent. If you see a comet across the sky, it's not saying anything. But he's saying it's singing because of its its beauty. Which, man, these guys are so brilliant. That's the thing about black metal. Like, those guys, it's my favorite genre of metal. I, and I think one of the reasons, one is a tremolo. And tremolo is what got me into, in, into metal. Corn's Got the Life. It's the greatest song of all time. But... When you look at the way that the, these guys, these guys are poets, and there's a sense in which every, there's a difference between a lyricist and a poet, okay? Mm -hmm. Anybody's a lyricist, I just, I just did Biggie's lyrics at the, at the top of this video. Those are lyrics, but this is poetry. Set a blaze in the starshine, flare up and turn into ashes, to hear the singing of the comets mm. in silence, to fly with the cold winds in the heights, above the serene and ancient forest, where there are no more fetters of flesh, to dissolve as a haze plunging in the dark of the sky, to fill the lungs up to the edge with the chilling air, to scatter the thousand shatters, burning down in sparkles, to touch the infinity and find peace. Jeez, um... Fall asleep by the chant of the wind, by the chant of the cold wind, fall asleep by the chant of the wind, by the chant of the cold will. Fall asleep in the eternal slumber by the chant of the cold wind. Fall asleep in the embrace of the moon silver. That is That's poetry, you, 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 dear yeah, listener. Yeah, you should listen to this. Maybe, huh? it'll, maybe it'll help you fall asleep. Oh, no, it would never fall, it would fall, never asleep, help in fall the, asleep. In the embrace of the moon silver. <coughs> yeah, the... the, the that's no no like the the words because it's beautiful like, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i wasn't yeah. because it was boring i didn't say that i didn't say that you said oh because you were oh because i thought that okay never mind carry on <clears throat> no it's just the guy the guy is an obviously gifted he's an obviously gifted writer and yeah we, we were i don't know complaining about this talking about this how christians for whatever re in the western world we're not very good at celebrating nature or being in awe of nature, or even in listening to what it's nature is saying. It's like the Blessed Mother. Or there's a fear of it, like too much of too much enjoyment. Well, that's the pagans. The pagans have that. Yeah. It's like, okay, well then we need to <laughs> we need to learn from them. God put us in this in this mm -hmm. universe. Um, there there's so much more appreciative of creation. Like yeah. this to me is a, is a song of worship, and, and and it's crazy because it'll also kill you. You know, like, and that's a common thing where, like, people, when you're about to freeze to death, that's a big thing is, like, don't fall asleep. Yeah. But, like. Oh, yeah. There's, so, you, it's crazy because there's that suffering because you're cold and you're freezing and you're frostbitten and all this. But you reach this, this sort of point where. There's comfort. and But that's. It's comfort. Weird. And then the comfort becomes overwhelming. Yeah. And you've been struggling this whole time to try to maintain temperature and try to fight against losing consciousness and so there there's this sort of seductive yep you, you know uh, you know it was one of the times like we had a real cold spell like two or three years ago and one of our folks died right there on the bench like froze to death on the bench like well like a yeah. hundred yards of 200 yards away from from the building we were at but it, it's a strange like it's almost it's it's like almost like a reward for all that suffering. Like you've suffered enough. Like okay, now I'm gonna let you you know like go off into the sleep type of thing. It's it's a real. My brother was the first person to tell me that. Like he came back from health class and he's like, if you're ever cold or whatever, blah blah blah, don't go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, so it's it's just really, it's just a fascinating concept. Like the way that he sang about it and the way that it was and like you could tell that he loves his homeland, but that cold is a bitch. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, I mean, and, I, I think about it with Maine a lot. <laughs> yeah, it also makes me wonder, like, if you're in those areas, like, does everybody have a story of somebody who died in the cold? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, when I was in New York... I don't know. When I was in New York, everybody knew somebody that had been shot. Yeah. Not, barely any of us knew anybody that died in a car accident. You would figure that New York would have a lot of car accidents, but the fact of the matter is... 
a lot of us have taken public transportation. And secondly, the traffic jams are such that you're, I was gonna you're say, driving you never really four miles that an hour. Fast, yeah. You know, and, and, and there's no rush hour in New York. It's just that's the way it is. Right. Like, you know, so it's like when we came to Maine, nobody I knew knew anybody that had been shot, but everybody I knew knew somebody that died in a car wreck. So it was just, you know, different regions. Yeah. It's, so I wonder, like, in Russia and, and other places like that, like, does everybody know someone who is, you know, yeah, died in, in, in that kind of situation? But interesting, yeah. I love yeah. the song. It's a black metal song. Everybody knows that um, I love black metal. This is a 9.6 for me. Yeah, this is a strong, strong song. I, I really enjoyed it. I loved what they did vocally. They kind of went all over the place. All the whispering in there. Just really, really, really great. What'd you give it? Um, I'm giving this one a 10. Holy smololies. Yeah. Did you give the 10. previous song a 10? No. But you gave the black metal song again. This is history. Yeah. <laughs> this is history. Yeah. We yep. just fulfilled Ra's al Ghul's destiny. No, I can see why you listen to this one start to finish. When you started that one song and then you were like, okay, now we're going to go to the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would definitely love to listen to this one. Oh, maybe we'll listen to this one later. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We'll be right back, though. We got more songs. I, I, uh, I This is the first black metal song I've given a 10, right? Uh, or... You really liked Exercises in Futility 6, according to... Uh, uh, look, 275 is right there. So he needs to respect her review of Maguire Exercises <laughs> 6. I demand it! I don't know if she gave... Ex uh, Exercises six like, I'd have to hear that one again. I guess self crucified, Mister. Oh. That song. Remember, I was listening. I listened to that song straight every day mm -hmm. for like a year. Mm -hmm. Like there are some songs that like, are just like tattooed in my on on my soul, man. That wow. song. That song right there. Yeah, that was one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. Wow. The, then lyrically, it was just insane. I talked to the, the to the. Uh, we we're gonna get an interview with them. Then there was some controversy. The drummer, blah blah blah, and, and then they, you know. But yeah, man, the, yeah. that shit was uh, exercises in futility. One of the best songs of all time. We shall return. We shall return. Vin out. Sorry out. Gone.